This video shows how you might be able to increase the speed of a fibre to the node, fibre to the basement or fibre to the cabinet NBN link in a house with more than one foam socket. First I will illustrate the effects on speed of an extra foam socket by using this 25 meter extension cable. I will plug this in parallel to my existing connection and see what results it has on speed. This resulted in the sync speed dropping from 47.6 megabits per second down and 12.5 megabits per second up to 36.3 megabits per second down and 9 megabits per second up. In the next test, the modem was connected to the extension cord, which simulates the modem being connected to the furthest phone socket from the street cabling. Surprisingly, the speed was faster at the socket furthest from the street cabling. The speed increased from 36.2 megabits per second to 39.4 megabits per second down and 12.2 megabits per second compared to 9.1 megabits per second up at the socket closest to the street cabling. These tests show that you get the faster speed on a DSL connection when there is only one phone socket. And if you have more than one phone socket, you should choose the socket that gives the best speed. And this is usually the socket first from the street cabling. If the first socket is used, the end of the cable is unterminated and acts as a giant aerial, picking up stray electronic magnetic radiation, which reduces the single to noise ratio. But the main problem is the reflection of the received signal back to the modem at a phase with the signal from the node. Extra phone sockets don't cause a problem with ADSL because ADSL operates at lower frequencies under 4 megabits compared to the FTN signal which can be up to 17 megabits per second. The high frequencies have a much shorter wavelength than the lower frequencies and therefore suffer from problems with reflection on the short cables in house wiring. This results in the upper frequencies being unavailable for the transmission of data and therefore the speed of the connection is less. This is clearly shown on the bit loader graph where the higher frequencies have less bits per tone than the signal on a connection with no extra phone sockets.